been working on WET for uh, a couple of years now. Uh, and then following the, the whole uh, Vivendi Activision merger, uh, A2M actually bought the rights back. Uh, so we've been spending a lot of time uh, just uh, tweaking and uh, polishing the title and uh, uh, figuring out like some of the ironing out some of the basic mechanics uh, and looking for for the right uh, publisher for the title, which uh, eventually uh, led us to uh, Bethesda. Wet is really like a, a super stylized acrobatic shooter. Uh, it's about you know constant movement, combat from uh, with uh, guns, sword. Uh, and just the, the acrobatics mixed in there to really uh, uh, empower the player and, and bring like a whole different dimension to the, to the shooting genre. Players are, are going to be able to uh, navigate the environment through uh, a, a series of uh, acrobatic moves like a slide, dive, wall run, pole flip, uh, uh, ledge run, things of that nature. Uh, the unique thing about WET is that during any of those actions you could be shooting away uh, with either, you know, uh, one manual arm or uh, with the dual uh, shooting mechanic which is uh, one arm is dedicated to an auto lock and the other one is uh, manually controlled by players and then the sword can also interrupt any of those acrobatic moves uh, when you're in close quarters and you want to just make a little space for yourself. Tarantino uh, inspiration, uh, Tarantino, Rodriguez. You know, it, we're really going for that kind of a that kind of a vibe, but also uh, drawing back in, into some of the, the classic, you know, '70s actions uh, cliches. You know, the uh, we're doing that in, in a lot of ways. You know, through the, the, the visuals, the whole uh, film grain aspect, and noise, and the, the projector uh, effects on, on the lands and things of that nature. Uh, Rage mode is this uh, this really uh, exciting sequence where uh, Ruby just sees red and she's just enraged uh, and then uh, graphically the treatment is uh, uh, character Ruby is all black and the, and the background is all red so you get this really uh, high level contrast really uh, stylized uh, look to it uh, and it's it's really about like throwing a, a ton of enemies uh, at Ruby uh, and not really having to worry about any uh, consequences too much for uh, health or, or navigation, you're just trying to chain like really large, uh, create large chains of, of, of kills and just let loose. Style is, is really important in the visuals, but it, it's also really important in terms of the gameplay. So we really want, uh, we really want players to go uh, acrobatic in the air and we really want to reward them for that. So, so there's the initial empowerment of uh, being able to uh, trigger slow-mo automatically and have dual targeting. But beyond that, uh, the scoring system is really there to uh, um, to reward players for variety uh, and spectacularness in their moves uh, and then that drives a, a multiplier that gives them uh, higher scores for, for each kill uh, and then those points are actually used to uh, uh, as currency to unlock some of Ruby's uh, other moves uh, or to upgrade some of her weapons throughout the game. What's really interesting about the way that we're doing slow motion is that uh, we're using it uh, as a reward for, for acrobatics and, and it's, autom it, it's automated so it's not a dedicated button that you have to think you know I have to press it now so is it not a resource should I use it should I not use it it's really more about encouraging players to try stuff and, and stay in the air and, and try crazy combos and we're, we're going to reward you with, with the, uh, the slow-mo and we're going to give you the time to pull off you know, the, the kind of chains and, and moves that that are, are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Wet scheduled for uh, fall release, and it's going to be uh, coming out on both uh, 360 and uh, PS3.